Hey friends, welcome to Essentially Jesse. Today I have 10 must-have designer fragrances for your collection, especially if you're just getting started collecting fragrances. This is a good wide variety, so let's get to it. These are 10 fantastic designer fragrances, designer prices, so we're looking at really a hundred dollars a bottle or less but a hundred dollars ish a bottle and this would give you a very wide range of interesting fragrances as as well as things that are very crowd pleasing first off i wanted to start with one that you probably already have in your collection and that is victor and rolf flower bomb i feel like this is a staple for designer everything like who doesn't want this? Who doesn't like this? It smells so good. I do sometimes when I smell this, I kind of get Monger Lawn vibes. I need to battle those two out. We're gonna do that. Flower Balm is a beautiful staple. You can get it for stocking stuffers for your mom, your sister, your grandmother, yourself. <laughs> it's just a beautiful fragrance. You're going to love it. Go get your nose on it. It is very feminine, very sweet, and but not too syrupy sweet. More like fluffy sweet. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but anyway, made sense in my mind. So Flower Balm is fluffy sweet and probably the number one that I would recommend first for your collection. Moving on, another one that has been highly talked about on YouTube. This is The Only One Intense by Dolce & Gabbana. Honestly, I had a hard time just picking one Dolce & Gabbana. I really didn't wanna pick a bunch of different fragrances from the same fragrance house. Um, this is probably one, it's definitely one of my favorites from Dolce & Gabbana. It's coconut, it's sultry, it's beautiful, it's sophisticated, but also simple enough that it's not crazy like Tom Ford Black Orchid or something that super sophisticated. So the only one by Dolce & Gabbana, the intense version is in this black bottle. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I think a must have for any collector in their designer fragrance, category of fragrances, tray of fragrances, maybe that's the best way to say it. Next is one that I have heard that Meghan Markle or Princess, I don't remember what the official name is, Sussex, Duchess of Sussex. Um, this is Wild Bluebell by Jo Malone. I love this fragrance. It's sweet, it's different, but it's very crowd pleasing. So I feel like you can wear this anywhere. I wore a scarf today because I love spraying fragrance on me but also on something clothing item like a scarf something that you can change um but also that will hold your fragrance longer especially if you're wearing some kind of um like today i've got on this v-neck t-shirt but it's a little bit thin so i don't want to get the oil from the fragrance on my shirt but i could spray it on this big thick scarf and the next time i put it on it will still be on there i just love fragrancing scarves along with my skin and my clothes to really make your fragrance last and this one and as most joe malone's go it's really going to take some over spraying in order to get it to last but that's also why I like these little bottles because they're very easy to travel with. So this is Wild Bluebell by Joe Malone, a gorgeous fragrance staple for any collection. Next, I have one that I've been talking about a lot lately and I'm sorry, not sorry. This is Valentino Donna Born in Roma Yellow Dream. At some point, I will just, that will just fluidly flow off my tongue, but for now, I still have to really think about it. So this is Yellow Dream from the Donna Born in Roma collection by Valentino. I have a full fragrance review on this. I actually battled this out between the original Donna Born in Roma and then this Yellow Dream. This one is the one that's a little bit, it's a, it's just just a little bit yellow. I expected the juice to be yellowier. <laughs> ah, I cannot get enough of this. This is one that is a 2021 release that you really need to get your nose on. And honestly, I would say that this one is a safe blind buy. If you like sweet, but not too sweet, floral fragrances, watch the full review. I'll link it below, but this is just that good. Okay, if you've been with my channel for any length of time, you know I love Tom Ford White Suede. This is the most expensive fragrance that I will have on this list. Technically, he is designer. Um, 
I got the big bottle. Like, it was the only one they had left, and I was like, I'll take it. Oh, this is, I mean, like, end all, be all, everything. I, oh, I just love it. If you're a man or a woman, you would love this fragrance. Get your nose on it. It smells really fresh and clean, but also has some character, but it's very mass appealing. A lot of Tom Ford fragrances are extremely polarizing, especially for designer fragrances. This one, not so much. It's so good. White suede, Tom Ford, get your nose on it, add it to your collection. I think this is probably one of the most easy to take in Tom Fords. Maybe this along with like Oud Wood is very, easily understood and then some of the others are just a little overwhelming when you're first getting started so white suede is a great place to start your tom ford collection next up i wanted to talk to you guys about rebecca minkoff's fragrance this is a beautiful fragrance something about this screams leather even though there's no leather listed in this fragrance the cap does look like some kind of leather, leather or synthetic leather on top, but I've done a full fragrance review on this as well. In fact, I've done a full fragrance review on a lot of these because they're my favorites. That's why they're in this top 10. Oh, this is a very different fragrance. I would never blind buy this fragrance. Go to your Dillard's, Ulta, Sephora, wherever you can to pick this up, smell it, get a sample, take it home, but I love this fragrance. Something about this, and maybe I picked this up in the fall, but something about this really gives me fall vibes. My birthday's in November, and it almost makes me feel like, I don't know, I might wear this for my birthday this year. Anyway, that's Rebecca Minkoff. So good, one to definitely add to your collection, but do not blind buy it. Smell it first, and then if you love it as much as I do, then get it. If you have a fragrance that you think is a must-have in the designer world, Drop it below in the comment section. I want to know what your top like must have designer fragrances are. But this one is so iconic. It is so cool. Pick it up for the packaging alone. Um, this is Carolina Herrera's Good Girl Legere. So this is Legere means light. So this is a little bit lighter than the original. Look at that atomizer. It's so pretty. Okay, so this one I would definitely wear year round. It does have the more like clear toed shoe, the one that's dark, and then now they have one that's supreme. I think that one has raspberries in it. Me, I'm not personally a berry loving, smelling person. <laughs> Um, so I will probably stick with this one in the original, but you definitely need to get your nose on it. If nothing else, the shoe is just so cute. Um, Carolina Herrera, good girl, Ligere, check out the original. If I were you, and this is just how I like to smell things when I go to the mall or the store, I'll spray one on one hand, one on the other, go do something else, shop for something else for 30 minutes, come back, smell them again, and then whichever one, I, you know, I may love them both, I may hate them both, I may like one a lot and not so sure about the other one, but that's just a good way to really get the fullness or most of the fullness of the fragrance and the longevity and that type of thing as you check it out while you're walking around. So this is Carolina Herrera, Good Girl Legere, a staple, I believe, in anybody's, anyone's, designer collection before i hit the top three i wanted to just say thanks so much for stopping by thanks for viewing my content if you love all things fragrance perfume scents uh essential oils go ahead and hit that subscribe button it will help let you know next time i get it, more fragrance perfume content out. I have new videos coming out every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So the subscribe, the notification bell obviously just helps you get the content that you want. Coming in at number three, I don't think I numbered any of the others. Um, they're all kind of the same, but I definitely would say that these are probably my top three. If you're just starting your collection, other than Flower Bomb, which most of you probably already have, these are three staples, in my opinion. This is C, the original C by Giorgio Armani. I don't have any of the flankers. I don't have, I'm like savoring the last little bit of juice. This is orange blossom. It's sweet, it's a little bit syrupy sweet, but in a really nice way. Um, I would wear this to the office, I would wear this on a date, like I literally could wear this year round, all the time, spread heavier in the winter, lighter in the summer. Um, 
it's just that good. It's a great all the time, all around fragrance. So if you haven't tried the original C by Armani, check it out. If you like one of the flankers to this one, drop it in the comments below because I really haven't really haven't given them a fair shot. And I think that the C Passion has a new version. Maybe it's intense or something like that. Anyway, but if you like any of the other Giorgio Armani C flankers, let me know in the comment section. Okay, we're getting close. Um, I think this is also very iconic, but also very new and chic. This is Kaoli Vanilla 28. If you are just fairly basic, wanting, smelling things, you know, like maybe you really zhuzh up your outfit, but you're wanting something kind of basic on the fragrance side, or maybe you're the opposite. Maybe you wanna wear black orchid with like a plain white t-shirt. I don't know. Everybody does fragrance their own way, but I feel like this crosses all boundaries, all age gaps, all everything. K. Ollie's vanilla, this is a sweet like bourbon vanilla. It's warm. It really smells like real vanilla. It's gorgeous. And this is so easy to layer with just about everything under the sun. So K. Ollie vanilla 28 is my number two spot on my list of all the designer fragrances that I think you need in your collection. And coming in at number one is Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. I could not leave this one off the list. Number one, it is iconic. Number two, a lot of the Chanel's have a more vintage vibe and the Coco Mademoiselle, along with the Chanso Tendre, are really youthful new spins on Coco Mademoiselle or Coco Chanel fragrances. And this one is just a must have. You have got to go to the store. You have got to smell this. It is pretty powerful. You don't have to overspray this one. It does have some patchouli in it. Um, I have this and I have the intense version. I love them both. But please get your nose on this if you are just now starting your fragrance collection and you are just dying to get a Chanel, this would be one to check out. It is crowd pleasing, but different enough that you won't smell like everyone else in the office or at school or wherever you're going. Um, I love it. Coco Mademoiselle, the original by Coco Chanel. So drop me a comment below if there are any fragrances that you think I missed on my top 10 list of fragrances everyone needs to have that are designer in their collection. Also let me know if there are any celebrity staples in your collection or niche staples in your collection. Thanks so much for watching. Smell you later.